Hey guys, welcome <laughs> back to my channel. My name is Sophia and this is Kylie, my best friend, and we're gonna be doing a mukbang, mukbang. <laughs> so I asked you guys on Instagram, self promo, to ask me some questions. Well, this was actually for guys. This is what I actually posted. Attention to all guys, ask any questions you have for girls. And a lot of guys actually ask some questions. Let's get started. <laughs> so we have our wing stop. She has her fries and stuff, me too. Wonders. That's our smoothies. Um, because there's so much to choose from. We like everything. Mm hmm I'm not like this, but I know there's some girls that don't want to pick a place because they don't want to seem like a fatty or something, because that's what I've been told from a friends before. I'm not like that. So I love Chick-fil-A and I don't care. Mm-hmm. Because mm, girls have, like, more sensitive feelings. Yeah. Like... If a guy is talking to multiple girls, the girl feels like she should be like them. But like, guys just are different. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's just different. It's different. Yeah, I agree. But I don't think it's okay if your girl is talking to other guys either, so. No, because it's like, I don't know. I think that's cheating. Oh, do I have a napkin? I oh, forgot yeah. the napkin. Wow. This is why I don't have friends. Well, I have <laughs> friends. Her and like two other people. Yeah. Um. Honestly, mm -hmm. it's probably because they're insecure. Mm-hmm. I was just gonna say that. I don't really know another reason. I mean, yeah, maybe it just makes them feel better to look gross. I don't know. <laughs> and that's so unattractive. Mm-hmm. So. So they won't get a boyfriend either. Yeah. Mm. Well, sometimes girls like shy. give like yeah, shy and give like little hints, but a lot of times guys don't get it. Mm -mm. So that's happened with me. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, I did that out. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I feel like if she's shy, and if like. If she's mean to you, I mean, it sounds like what everybody else says, but if she's mean to you, she likes you. Yeah. But not all the time. Like, if she's really mean to you, that means, like, stay away mm -hmm. and don't bother her. But maybe she's just monstering. <laughs> Another thing is, I don't know, like, she'll want to hang out with you and stuff. Like, I don't know. Hmm. But... She might cancel because she feels like she doesn't know what to wear or doesn't look good that mm -hmm. day. But, like, don't take that personally. Yeah. Because maybe she's just, like, really nervous. Well? I don't have strict parents, so I don't know. I do. Um, first, you need to know if she's into you or not. Because that plays, um had a big role in a relationship mm -hmm. and I don't know maybe ask her when she's allowed to date if you're really really into her but don't be cocky yeah and don't call her a chick near her parents either yeah <laughs> also don't be like telling her like it's okay we can like keep it a secret because then her parents will really not like you yeah and they'll get like a what's it called like a, a bad first impression. Yes. It depends we, on what we're getting ready yeah, for. Yeah, we gotta look good. Yeah, I mean, what if you are going to the grocery store and you run in to like, who's Post Malone? Uh -huh. Like, you're gonna wanna take a picture. If you look bad, then you're not gonna like the picture, but if you look good, then you'll like the picture. So you always have to be prepared. Mm-hmm. I personally don't like to get rushed when getting ready. Mm -hmm. 
That's the worst. I like to take my time. That makes me mad almost. Yeah. It depends if you're also just gonna go hang out with like your friends. Like you don't really need to spend an hour getting ready. Yeah, no. Unless you're like going out and taking pictures or whatever. How long do you take to get ready? An hour. So yeah, I take a really long time to get ready just because I like to take my time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And it's like you time. I yeah. Know. Like if I have somewhere to go, I'm not gonna be taking my sweet old time. Like I like to be on, like I don't, I don't like to be on time. I like to be early to everything. I didn't really know what it meant, so I did have to Google it. So I don't that, know what means, that means I don't remember which color, but one, I think it was blue. Let's say that I think that one's like in an office, and the other one was like labor. I don't know. Why does it matter? Yeah, a job's a job. Yeah, I don't really. As long as you're making that move laugh. You know, from experience, I've always just ended up with the douches. Oh, I'm getting hiccups. <laughs> Heartburn, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, from like the past experiences, I always end up with an F boy or a douche. But it's not like an intentional thing. If that makes sense. Like, I feel like some girls just like to live on the edge. Yeah. And that's like the one thing that makes them feel like a bad girl, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. But I kind of like the nice guys. Like my boyfriend is super not douchey. No. And he's potential husband material, so <laughs> I don't have to worry about the douches. Don't say hey and then nothing else. Say like have a purpose. Yeah. It's annoying when somebody just texts you constantly, hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. Hey, what are Say you doing? Say like, how was your day or something like that. Ask a question. Yeah. A real I question. Know. I think like those hey, what's up kind of conversations, um, like nothing, what about you, are really boring. Yeah, not exciting at all. Mm -mm. Like if you want to start a conversation, be like, hey, could I pick you up and let's go here? Or like, I don't know, like just maybe stop by and say hi. I don't have a whole like relationship over text. Like you need mm -mm. to hang out in person. Yeah. Cause you're not dating your phone, you're dating the person, so. There's a lot. Um, the first thing that came in mind was when a guy is really good with little kids. Oh um, yeah. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. I love kids. Um, I think it also kind of shows what kind of person they are. Mm -hmm. And how they treat their mom. Yeah, for sure. Mm. And if he talks nicely about like his friends. Yeah. Not like a poo poo talker. Yeah. That's not cute. When they can have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Like, and I don't have to kind of like start it and like continue it and stuff. When they can do that, I find that really attractive because I don't want to do all the work. Um, if he just like checks in on you a lot and like just randomly gives you hugs or like mm -hmm. randomly says like, I love you and like means it, not just like a casual like, love you. Like, I love you and care about you. Like just something to make mm -hmm. you feel like special. Yeah. Which is what my boyfriend does. So that's also why he's a keeper. <laughs> Another turn on is like when they ask when my day, how my day was. Like, cause it shows that they like actually care and stuff. Like I always ask all my friends um, how their days are and stuff. Cause like, I don't know. I hope they have had a good day and stuff. Like genuinely. Yeah. Um, it, cause it's better than just like, what's up? Like that's, no. Yeah, I tend to ignore people who say that. Yeah. It's not like anything against you. It's just like, I just don't like that. Mm-hmm. Personally, I really like athletic boys because I myself am really athletic. So it's kind of a turn on when they do sports. Or just have a passion in general. Yeah, or goals. When they have goals in life, that's yeah. such a turn on. Cause that's not, it's not that it's not common at our age cause we're both 18. Mm, kind of. But like really? boys in our generation don't really like. I mean, that's true. Just when they know what they want, um, mm -hmm. just and work anything. for it. Yeah. I think that's so attractive because you don't want a bum. Mm -mm. There's a lot for mm -hmm. that. So many. <laughs> Again, when you don't have goals in life, that's um, a big turn off. Because mm -hmm. I'm someone who has 
big goals for myself yes. and I will achieve those. Mm, you go. Okay. <laughs> um, also, like, if somebody has a passion for something, mm -hmm. but they don't, like, pursue it at all, ever, like, that's kind yeah. of like, mm, well, like, if you're dating me, will you ever put a ring on it? Like, because, uh -huh. I don't know. Also, if we catch you staring at other girls while oh. we're, we're with you, then it's uh -uh, like... Oh, we're done. <laughs> even if we're just friends, like, you don't have to stare at every girl you see, you know? Like, you yeah. can have a conversation with somebody without making it, like, something about a relationship and another girl. Because what if you guys do start dating? Then yeah. she's going to know every girl that you've ever liked before. And then it's just going to be, like... A jealousy type thing not jealous mm -hmm. just like I know what you like and it wasn't me at the time mm -hmm. so I don't know yeah I'm not gonna say which summer um but over a summer I had a thing with this boy and we were hanging out which like now looking back at it it was kind of like a date mm. anyways he was checking out other girls while we were uh hanging no. out or on a date whatever uh -uh. and i was like okay like this is gonna end soon like like he was on his phone the whole time like when you're with like your girl try not to be on your phone like oh, even if she's on puppy. hers too mm -hmm. come up with a conversation or something like that mm -hmm. um she's probably on her phone because like she's bored yeah if you're on your phone she's gonna have nobody to talk to you so she's gonna be bored so then she'll go on her phone mm -hmm. but like she'll still be mad at you for being on your phone yeah which is understandable because my boyfriend actually does that and he knows that it annoys me but he's working on it so that's good another turn off is bad hygiene mm. yes uh -huh. and that's also a turn on if you have really good hygiene mm -hmm. and you're like really cleaned up and you have like nice clothes or whatever and style is another turn on yeah but um mostly yeah. hygiene that's like almost everything oh yeah if I don't even know about you, but I'm not going to want to kiss a boy who hasn't brushed his teeth in, like, Ew. I don't even know. Like, that's just Or, like, okay. at least brush your hair. Like, I... Mm. Take pride in what you look like. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to be conceited, but, like, try a little. Presentable. Yeah. Um, another thing I don't like, <laughs> and I just, like, notice a lot of little things. That's just me. Like, I will always notice when you get a haircut or something. Mm -hmm. Or when, um... A guy has dirt under his nails. I hate that. That's grody. Yeah. Be a gentleman. Mm -hmm. Don't be this like, oh, being cocky is the worst. Oh yeah. I mm -mm. will never, ever, well, I'm basically married, but <laughs> I will never let one of my friends date a cocky guy. No. One thing is to like, self-love and like all that stuff but another thing is to be like cocky and when you're talking about money constantly and like <laughs> well i mean the shade yeah <laughs> um, uh, i'm not putting that uh, uh, one of my ex-friends let's just say i hope you're watching this because i don't miss you but um if you're talking about money constantly and that's the only thing that matters to you and like luxury items and stuff that does not matter like when you die and in my personal beliefs, go to heaven. Oh, yeah. Like, God is not gonna care if you're like drenched in Gucci yeah. and Louis Vuitton. He's gonna care if you're a good person. So that's my advice to you, cocky yeah. men. <laughs> that's a good one. Even and also being friends. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so friends sorry. too, friends too. If your friends are like that, don't be friends with them. Because mm -mm. they're not worth it. No. Another <laughs> thing is um to be yourself, like I don't know like I'm a really silly person and I don't like there aren't many guys who are show their silly side even though I know they're silly I love being because, silly <laughs> yeah same like I'm really weird and silly when you can show your silly side and like really be you I think that's how you will definitely get a girl mm -hmm. like that's yeah I don't know, you that's have to like let good. your guard down a little yeah, because I literally have not met a single guy who's, like, as silly as I am. They don't even have to be as silly as me, just silly in general. Oh, and be friends before. Yeah. For at least, like, I know it seems like a long time, 
but even just like six months to a year of just friendship before you start dating mm -hmm. is really gonna help you because like you can get to know them without feeling shy and about themselves. And you really themselves. get to know like who the real them are. Yeah. Who they really are. Because when you're dating somebody, you like, if you go straight from meeting them to dating them, mm -hmm. like you don't know really anything about them. So they're gonna feel like kind of shy and like standoffish. But if you're friends before, then you basically know everything about each other. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to like open up to them about stuff. <laughs> You're not gonna get a girlfriend, whoever said that. No. No, no, no. Um, I mean, some girls might be like, what's that? <laughs> I don't know. But like, they know what it is. They're not yeah. stupid. They're just probably coming up with like a question for you because you're either being awkward or just not talking. So sometimes girls have to be like, what's that? To carry on the conversation. It's mm -hmm. not that we don't know what it is. We probably know more than you do about it. <laughs> but I mean. I agree. And I think their smile or personality. Personality. Like physically, their smile. And eyes. Yeah. Yes. Um, this, Depending on how you do it, though. Yeah. Like creepily, like then no. I mean, then yes, we would. I would care. But if you're like, like this guy came up to me at school one time, um, like two weeks ago, or whatever, and he was asking for help because it was his first semester there, and it was my second. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know who this is. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was very nice, like he uh, genuinely needed help, and I helped him, and like now we're friends, cause like he asked for my number and stuff. Like that, like that's, that's good. Fine. Like that's a- uh, That's like innocent. You're not, yeah, you're not coming off creepy or anything. Mm -hmm. You like, you're nice, but I don't like when guys come up to me, like I'm, if I'm at the mall and they're being like creepy, like following me. Uh. Like, uh-uh. I want to pepper spray you, not date you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. For me personally, mm -hmm. I know everyone says uh, personality overlooks, but obviously, like personality plays a big role. But like, I have to be attracted to the guy at least a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just not fair to either of you. Yeah. So yeah, looks do play a part, and I'm sure guys feel that way too. Uh huh. Like, if you have a good personality, like it overrides most of the stuff. But you still have to like want to kiss them and like want to like have a relationship with them. For mm -hmm. sure. I think Yeah. I think everyone compares themselves to Personally. someone else. Even guys, I think. Yeah. Secretly. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't have to look to somebody else to be yourself. Like yeah. you need to be yourself and not them. Or like another version of them. And if you're dating a girl and you like say <clears throat> like let's say i'm dating a guy <clears throat> and i call if you all you all you guys all know i love dylan jordan if i constantly talk about how hot dylan jordan is or like how he has a nice six pack let's say my guy doesn't um i think that's really messed up and it makes the person really insecure so like you shouldn't do that with girls like talk about your girl celebrity mm -hmm. crush be like she's so hot she oh. has such a nice body oh. like uh -uh. story time <laughs> oh <laughs> um and I, I forgot what grade I was in, maybe like freshman year. Um, this was before I was dating my boyfriend because we were best friends like six years before we started dating. Mm -hmm. But um, he was obsessed with Kylie Jenner, like Ugh. obsessed. And like, obviously we have the same name. My name's Kylie, spelled the same way. And um, long story short, they were having a meet and greet, like Kylie and Kendall were having a meet and greet at a pack sun in Santa Monica. So me being the good best friend I am that secretly had a crush on him, went with him to Santa Monica at five o'clock in the morning, st stood in line for quite some time, got to meet Kylie and Kendall, whatever. They gave us a signed poster and all they said was, you stole my effing name to me they didn't even like talk to him <laughs> and i was like like not expecting it it was so early who cusses that early in the morning first of all and like 
If somebody stands in line to meet you for hours, you should say something a little more like genuine or yeah. nice or just like maybe just not say what she said. And I felt bad for him because like they didn't even talk to him. Mm -hmm. So it's like whatever. But guess what Kylie got him in the end? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Personally, I can't really tell until you're like hardcore flirting with me because I'm really oblivious. I'm getting better. Um. Yeah, she's getting better. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, we're working on that one. We are. I think it, it's, it gets to a point where it's really obvious, but sometimes like, it's, a, it's like not obvious enough. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Like, for me, I'm a really nice person, and a lot of guys interpret that of me, interpret that like as me flirting, yeah. When really, I'm just a nice person, like mm -hmm. I just wanna be your friend Same. and stuff, um, and it happens a lot. Yeah. We don't like to tell guys we have a crush on them, because what if they don't have a crush on us? Mm -hmm. That would be awkward, because uh, they can't even be friends. Yeah, it's just like weird from there. Mm -hmm. Aren't these cases so cute? Like cute. this one is so darn cute. Ignore my nails. <laughs> this one. So these are actually Kylie's cases. She has a case company with my boyfriend. Yes, called <laughs> Honey Bunny Cases. So the link will definitely be down in the description. It's like this one is one of our most popular ones. It's check her it out, and it also comes in black and red. I am obsessed with black and red together. It's like my yeah. favorite combination. Um, and then, where's my phone? This is also another popular one. It's, um, you can't really see the marble. I feel like such a beauty blogger. Okay, <laughs> okay. well anyways, it's white marble. And um, this is another popular one. And there's some clear and like this one's clear and then what is this called? Frosted. Frosted, so you can get either or. This one's also really cute. Yeah. And this one. There's more on the website too. Like mm -hmm. we have a Valentine's Day collection, which it's a little late to order those now, but we'll be coming out with new ones also, so. Yes, yeah, so Honey Bunny cases, super cute. <laughs> I've got mine right here. Yes, and they actually do protect your phone. Like I've dropped oh, my yeah. phone like plenty of times, including in parking lots, and they like stand up pretty well. Yeah, so if you look at it, it's not just like a crappy one. It's it's a really good case quality. And it does come over. Just a little. So it does protect your phone, which yeah. that's the best thing in a case. But obviously we recommend getting a glass screen protector with all cases though, not just with like our cases. Yeah. But yeah. So I think that is it for this week's video. Yay. I hope we answered you guys' questions. Um, I got a lot more questions than I expected from boys. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you have any more questions, comment them down below or DM me. Thank you, Kylie, for coming in my video. Anytime. Thank you for watching our mukbang. And I think that's it. If you want to see more videos of Kylie, comment down below. Like, even if you don't comment, like, she's going to be in them either way. Oh. <laughs> yes, don't think this is the last time, folks. And Kylie's gonna come with her own channel. <laughs> I'm a little too awkward for that right now, but working on it. <laughs> We're working on bettering ourselves. You guys, you're just great. <laughs> but continue to better yourself. Everyone. And just, I don't know, don't date a douche. <laughs> be happy in your relationship and be yourself. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I think this is it. Thank you again. Yes. No um, problem. This is a good time. <laughs> Let me just tell you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.